Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is The Beatitudes. Beloved family, our text says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad. Because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Matthew 5, 3-12 These blessings that King Jesus Christ recounted to the people in the Sermon on the Mount are referred to as the Beatitudes. Beatitudes. This is Jesus Christ's belief system. In other words, the Beatitudes are the attitudes to be. Jesus sat down with his disciples and taught them about leadership, the right mindset based on the right attitude. He was trying to deal with their mind and their thinking. He wanted to change their attitude. And to change one's attitude, you have to change one's thinking. He first had to change their thinking by giving them new ideas from him. He said, listen to me, for I am the truth. You have heard this said before, but now I say. He kept drilling the statement, I say, into their minds over and over and over again. Blessed are the poor in spirit, Jesus says. If you are poor, you are the perfect candidate for God. God is attracted to poor Why? Because poor people are hungry for something, and even to the point of desperation. Rich people have the attitude that they need nothing or no one. So blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. He didn't say hunger and thirst for physical food, although he'll meet that as well. He said for righteousness. When he taught and fed the 5,000 and 4,000, they were hungry for fish and bread, and some missed the bread of life. Don't be the same way. Don't miss the message about the kingdom because you focus on religion or on the desires of your stomach or the world. If we desire God, he will make himself known. Our leaders in the world today can learn much from the Beatitudes. Many need an attitude adjustment. They use power to oppress, but power should be used to lift up people, not oppress them. It's all about attitude. God's obedience from man was led by example of Jesus Christ being God, showing obedience by submission to Mary and Joseph, his earthly parents. This teaching or Sermon on the Mount was a parable. Why did Jesus speak in parables, a simple story to illustrate a moral or spiritual lesson? It's because Jesus Christ is the manifested thoughts and word of God, and God is hidden in the parable, and those that seek him will find him. Jesus says to his disciples, I speak to them in parables, but I speak to you plainly. Why? Because you have already submitted to me. They haven't. Then he says, for seeing they may see and hearing they may hear. In other words, I don't want no one to understand without submitting because they will use the understanding the wrong way. Let that sink in our minds. God is hidden in the word. God is hidden in Jesus Christ. And those who seek him 
find God. Listen, God doesn't go looking for people. When people submit in their hearts that they need God, then he reveals himself to them. Jesus says, when you search for me with all your heart, then you will find me. Or in other words, then I reveal myself to you. Blessed are the poor in spirit, because theirs is the kingdom of God. This means those who are poor need me. They need the kingdom. When we demonstrate our need, Christ reveals himself to us. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. We need to understand that Christ is the comforter. The kingdom of God is not about what's outside of us, but what's inside of us. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. This is the right attitude toward God. He wants you and I to be righteous and to be right with him. It's all about the attitude of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Joy brings enjoyment. Peace brings worry-free living. Righteousness brings right standing with God. All brings the right attitude in our minds toward Christ Jesus. Much love.